Somebody really thought that you were computer generated, which I guess is a compliment to you. Yeah. Well, thank you. And I've actually heard that, I mean, from coaches in the network too, that members thought that I was actually computer generated. Even some of the coaches said, Hey, I didn't know you were a real person. Yeah. That's my goal is for people to think that I'm not real. That's how fit I am. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Andrew and today is Fat Tuesday. If you don't know what Fat Tuesday is, Fat Tuesday is my weekly day that I post a video documenting my journey to become not fat. And today is actually day three of all out mayhem, which is kind of like a hell week, but in May. And I have like a whole video coming, documenting my journey of this. It, like I'm making the video as we speak, and that will be coming later this week, so make sure you stay tuned for that. But today's video is going to be really special. I know I told you in my last video that I was gonna be able to interview Demo Dan from Orange Theory, the guy from the monitors, him, like Demo Dan. And I interviewed him with your questions. So thank you to everybody that submitted a question. Unfortunately, we couldn't answer all of them because there were a lot of questions, but we did get to a lot of great stuff. In the comment section, if you look at the pinned comment, it's a table of contents because this video is kind of big. So if you want to jump around, you totally can. Enjoy the video. Subscribe so you don't miss my next video. Click the notification bell so you know when I post a video or go live. Happy Fat Tuesday. Oh, and I just want to say for the record, this is not like a sponsored video with Orange Theory. I just had this idea and I reached out to them and they totally agreed to do it. There was a little bit of a confusion when I announced that I was gonna be doing this video. If I ever have a partnership with anyone, I will always tell you. But yeah, this is just like a fun idea and they agreed to do it. So now, on to the video. For the people who, I'm sure everybody that does Orange Theory already knows who you are, but tell us who you really are. Like, you're not just Demo Dan, who are you? Tell us. Well, uh, my name's Coleman, not Dan, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, I am from Jacksonville, Florida. I was born and raised there. Um, uh, moved to Gainesville right out of high school, um, went to UF, did uh, exercise physiology and kinesiology degree from there. Uh, I worked at, stayed in Gainesville, worked at Gainesville Health and Fitness. That's one of the premier gyms uh, in the world. Uh, then after I moved to South Florida, I kind of got into more independent personal training, you know, doing different things. Uh, and then uh, one of the guys that uh, actually I did my kettlebell level one certification with, he was the instructor, uh, remembered that I was moving to South Florida and he currently lived in South Florida and he said, hey, you know, I'm opening up an Orange Theory right around the corner from where you work. Are you interested in uh, doing that? And I said, absolutely. So fast forward about nine months after that and I started working as a coach at, uh, at an Orange Theory in, in Wellington, Florida. Then I... Um, uh, doing personal training as well as doing Orange Theory, um, and then that's how it got started. I mean, I, I love it. I mean, it's a it's a dream job. I'm super passionate about it. Uh, super passionate about exercise, movement, Orange Theory, all that stuff. So that's awesome. I didn't I didn't know that you were a coach first. I mean, that makes sense. But absolutely, yeah. Uh, and and you know, everybody that's that's on the design team with me is also a coach. So we got a ton of questions, and uh, I think people really they really want to talk to you. So one of the first questions we got is, what is a typical day like in the design studio? And like, is it just you that makes all of the workouts for everybody, or there's a team? Like, explain that. Well, I'm I'm very fortunate to to be able to lead a team of the experienced design team that actually creates all the workouts, um, along with, you know, Ellen, uh, the, the creator of the Orange Theory Fitness uh, workout, and then also Michael, the director of fitness. May Mayhem is coming up like, it's my first one of those. I guess it's like a hell week, I guess, maybe, is it? It's kind of like a mini hell week. Um, it, it is actually the first one that we have done. So it's not just your first, but it's the first time that we've actually run Mayhem. Oh, cool. Um, so uh, basically how it works is, I mean, it's just like with our other programs or our other templates, uh, we will come in and say, this is a day where we're designing. Well, we'll come in with some ideas and we'll discuss the different ideas. We'll say, okay, hey, we really like this idea. And then everybody will kind of chime in and put in their two cents with, oh yeah, this is great. How do we make this better? How do we make this better? But yet still staying focused on what we're trying to get out of the workout. What do we want that physiological response to be uh, with everybody? Is this scalable? Can everybody be successful at this workout? So uh, taking into account all those different factors, um, that's kind of how we design those processes. One of the questions that I, I really love is, how did you specifically, like I, I, we, we've heard how you got into like designing the workouts, but did you volunteer to be Demo Dan? Like how did that 
come about? It's so the process was um, every Monday, like I said, every Monday we meet with Ellen and we, uh, you know, discuss certain things, whatever. Well, soon after I got onboarded to the team, uh, we had a Monday meeting and Ellen came in and she said, hey, you know, you know, there are some videos that aren't necessarily correct with the movement. There, there are some things that are, you know, just just off a little bit that, that we want to kind of refilm. I right. said, hey, I just want to be there to make sure, you know, hey, the, they're doing it right. They're, you know, they're using proper form, all that stuff. So, um, OK, so I was I was just really excited about it. Then when we go to film it, I they said, hey, you're sh you're actually shooting the videos. I said, OK, sounds good to me. And I never in a million years thought it would definitely blow up this big. Hey, you know, you're that guy on the screen. Yeah, yeah, I am. I am real. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Somebody, somebody really thought that you were computer generated, which I guess is a compliment to you. Yeah. Oh, thank you. And I, I've actually heard that, I mean, from coaches in the network too, that members thought that I was actually computer generated. Even some of the coaches said, hey, I didn't know you were a real person. Yeah. <laughs> That's my goal is for people to think that I'm not real. That's how fit I am. Other people had this question, but I had this question yesterday because I was hearing something from someone that I work with. We were talking about what I think were two different workouts that, or we both just don't know what we're talking about. Are all the Orange Theory like workouts the same in every single studio across the entire country? Like everyone's doing the same thing every day? Yes, they are. And so um, the way we write them and send them out, the, the whole network is doing the same workout every single day. Now that, um, you know, you don't repeat the workout, so you're not going to repeat those workouts from day to day with the exception of say like our benchmarks or our signatures. I'm sure you've done the benchmark with like the 500 meter row challenge, uh, the meter row challenge, which our challenge tracker app just came out this week. So they're using that in studio now with the, uh, the tablet. Okay. So how are the workouts tested? Because I know like whenever I would go to the gym by myself, I, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know if this is actually going to work. Like how do you guys know this stuff is actually going to work? Like the new, types of workout how do you know that well we actually get them tested so every single template is tested from two to six times uh, we send it out uh, to our select advanced level coaches in the network and they put it through an actual class so you're getting real world scenarios to see you know for stuff like flow uh, intensity uh, can it be completed are they are they able to get through the treadmill stuff are they able to be successful so we definitely test those uh, every single workout for every single month. What is the difference between strength, endurance, and power? Strength is, is you're gonna you're gonna call from heavier weight and less reps, but more tension. So more time under tension. So um, doing those reps for a little bit longer time. Then you're gonna ask for endurance. You're asking for lighter weight. Uh, higher reps so you could get the same amount or the same time under tension um, but it's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit different so you're, you're stimulating the muscle in a different way because you're doing more repetitions and then we have um, the power which is you're doing maybe like a slower negative or a slower on the way down and then an explosive movement on the concentric or the positive um, so and those are gonna stimulate the muscles in different ways so they're gonna they're gonna yield different results. <laughs> okay, so the next question, um, we actually have someone that wants to uh, wants to marry you, actually. Um, I don't know if you could speak to that. Um, I mean, I feel really flattered and honored to, to be asked that question, but I am happily married, uh, so I, I have to decline. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sorry, ladies, he, uh, he is not available. What are your top three favorite exercises and why? Number one, to me, just the conventional deadlift. Um, we do more of a Romanian style deadlift at Orange Theory, which I also love. But I think the conventional deadlift is, I mean, it, along with the Romanian deadlift, but the conventional deadlift is fantastic. It hits every muscle in your body um, and it hits it what, what we call sequentially. So at, at, certain, at a certain timing, it hits them all. Um, and it works on strength of, of what's called your posterior chain. So basically your backside, um, not when I say backside, I don't mean just your butt, but, but your back, your shoulders, your legs, your feet, everything. Um, so I think working that and then specifically working that together is, is huge. And then I would say any kind of like, I mean, it's more power movements, but like thrusters or snatches, I think those are fantastic. Here again, total body movement. 
Um, it, but it also has that nervous system stimulation component. So you're really asking them to move the weight fast, also maintain form, but move the weight fast. I love those movements because it's, it's more applicable to real life. Because as you know, real life doesn't happen slowly. Like you can't say, oh, wait, if, I, if you're falling, you can't say, oh, wait, gravity, pause. Let me get my other foot down. <laughs> so it's, it, helps that, it helps that nervous system stimulation. My third one? Dude, bicep curls. I mean, of course. No, I'm just kidding. It's not bicep curls. It's probably, it's probably a combination of, uh, I don't know, probably anything from like squats to lunges, um, any kind of like push up or, or bench press or something like that. I mean, me personally, like I like all kinds of exercises just because the different exercises do different things when done at different tempos. So, I mean, all that stuff, man. I, I just, I just love working out i love hu human movement but i also love the response that your body gets from it so i love helping people be able to honestly just live a better quality of life um i, I think that's what draws me to this industry uh to overall health and performance i like how everything that you said had had like deeper like <laughs> you know what i mean because i feel yeah, like sometimes cool. we're always just trying to like not be fat and it's like there's other things that you can there's so many benefits like what you were talking about just like being quicker in your mind and things like that it's insane exactly and then you know when people talk about I, 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 my personal opinion is when people talk about you know being fat it's I mean that's just kind of a, a manifestation of other things that are going on whether it's you know internally or maybe even emotionally uh, and I think exercise, specifically Orange Theory exercise, because of the way they do it and the way it's done from day to day, I think it's the best medicine that there is. It's so beneficial on all different planes. So, you know, mental, emotional, physical, uh, I mean, all that stuff. There's people watching this right now that feel they're, they're in the thick of that, right? So what would you, what would be some just quick advice you would tell them just to get them up and get them inspired? Stand up, take a step, take a step. Honestly, I think the biggest thing is maybe find someone that does it. Talk to them. They probably, if they do it, chances are they have huge passion for it. Find someone that goes, get with them, go with them so that you have that buddy, that friend to kind of introduce you. And then our coaches are fantastic at, at letting people know, hey, it's okay. You're starting where you are and it is what it is. So just come in, do your best. I mean, we have, that's why we have, you know, our, our runners, joggers, and then our power walkers It's come in and do what you can do, you know, um, it, it just to get moving and gradually progress. I mean, that's, that's what it's all about, man. That's what life's all about. Just gradually progressing and getting better day to day. Do you get frustrated when people, cause when, when I hear it from people, I'm always like, no, like you have the wrong idea, but what is your thought when, when people, cause it, Orange Theory kind of looks intimidating. I got like when you're walking past it and you've never been inside of one, like it kind of looks really scary. I think it'd be really cool if they could hear from the guy in the screen telling them <laughs> they don't need to be intimidated. Like what, like kind of expound upon that a little bit. Yeah, absolutely not, man. I, I think it's, like I said, it, it, we we lay it out and the, the way this program is, is designed that it, that it's scalable for all fitness levels. So uh, for somebody who has never worked out, to somebody who works out every day uh, and maybe they go to the gym. I mean, I know several people that go to, you know, CrossFit religiously, but then also come to, to Orange Theory and it, it's just, it's it's a good marriage. It's a, it's a good complement to each other. Or somebody that does strength training, it's say like a, you know, a, a big box gym, like an LA Fitness or something. I don't know if I could say LA Fitness, but LA Fitness. Um, and then they come to Orange Theory and it just complements everything that they do. But I mean, as far as the intimidation factor, honestly, it's just, you just have to take a deep breath, step inside the studio. And from the minute you walk in, it's, it really is, it's all about an experience. It's the experience you get when you talk to the, uh, the, the essays up front, the people at the front desk and they, you know, greet you and, and they explain, you know, everything to you. And then you go with the coach and they tell you what, all Orange Theory is all about, what they're gonna experience in the class, the different terminology that we use and what it means. And I, I mean, honestly, like I, I know I am and I know that all the people that, that I work with are and, and the coaches that the classes that I go to are, but all of our coaches are very attentive to people when they first come in and they're almost empathetic with where that person is. And they know that that person is starting 
at their fitness journey at this place in their life. And they're they're trying to help them be successful. And that's what I think the biggest part of Orange Theory is just helping people be successful. Should we be scared for May Mayhem? Uh, maybe a little. A little. <laughs> I guess that's good, right? Have you ever done a Hell Week? No. Oh, well, hey, <laughs> trial by fire. Coleman, thank you so much. Like, this was freaking You're awesome good. that you did this. And like everybody that you answered the question, like, I know that they want to say thank you. So seriously, thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to do this. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. I mean, like I said, it, it really is surreal. Um, I never thought that, you know, hey, I just wanted to watch the workouts. I never thought that it would lead to, you know, something like this and, and talking to you and, and, you know, just even going to all of our all of our conferences and conventions and, you know, people saying, hey, man, what's up? And it just has given me the opportunity to meet so many people and, and see how great our network really is. It's like Ellen and then you. Like you guys are like, you got to like the face of it. But uh, seriously, thank you. Thank you too, buddy. I really appreciate it.